What's up, y'all? It's Brittany Michelle, and I'm back again with another video. And today, I want to tell y'all about a situation that happened with me in my entrepreneurship journey recently. Um, so, I had a client order a sign off my website, right? So, she ordered her sign, and she emails me and asks me, you know, can I have it by this specific date? If not, you know, I want to go ahead and cancel the order, but I need it by this date. I'm assuming she maybe had a closing um, coming up, which typically is a reason why realtors would want to rush their um, rush their order um, so they can get it, you know, earlier. So I told her, you know, I can have it rushed for her by that specific date, but it would be an extra fee. She paid the fee and I went ahead and went through the design process with her seat, with her um, key sign. So what happened was, what happened was, um, somehow, some way, um, her order got sent. She lives in Florida. Her order got sent to Louisiana. Her order got sent to Louisiana, y'all. I don't really know exactly what happened to cause this, you know, this to take place. Um, but her order got sent to Louisiana. And thank God, thankfully, it was, it was um, sent to one of my previous clients' addresses. And she emailed me and was like, you know, I received the sign. That's not mine. This is the name of the person. Um, this is the name that's on the sign. You know, just letting you know, a key came to me and it wasn't mine. Y'all, when I saw the name of the key that was sent to her, I went into straight panic mode. It's the 17th. On this day, it's the 17th. And my client needs her sign by the 19th. She didn't pay her rush fee. She paid to have it, you know, processed early, um, which I did. But for some reason, it went to the wrong address, right? So, um, you know, <clears throat> thank God the the person whose uh, house that it went to, she reached out to me and she was super, super duper helpful. At this point, I'm in panic mode, y'all. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? I'm like... You know, I, I, I paused for a minute. You know, I had to pray. I was with my friend. I talked to my friend about it. We talked through the situation. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I was, with, I was with my friend. We talked through the situation. And I was like, you know, I asked, I reached out to the client. I asked her if she could go to the post. If I sent her a shipping label, could she go to the post office and drop it off for me? She said yes she would so i did i went and i i ordered a overnight shipping um i got an overnight shipping label so that you know i could have it to her one time <clears throat> so i did that and thankfully 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 she got her sign on time and she loved it I say this all to say that sometimes in entrepreneurship, you're going to have those moments where you're going to have those moments where things just don't go right. Things just don't go as planned. Even if you're like super, you know, making sure that you're following your systems, sometimes things will slip. Sometimes things will happen that isn't what you really necessarily plan to happen. And in those moments, it's not the time to panic. It's not the time to worry. It's not the time the time to be scared. It's not the the time to be angry, to be disappointed, to be fearful. It's the time to pivot and figure out what do I do next? What is my next steps? In this situation, what it did was it taught me something. I learned from it. I grew from it. It taught me that I need to be more stern with my SLPs. I have to be more, um, what's the word for it? I have to pay attention to all the close details. I need to, I need to, <clears throat> I need to focus in more on my SLPs. I have to create a system that, that takes care of these small little instances that could happen, you know, double, triple, quadruple checking the shipping label printing out a packing slip and including that in the um in the packaging and making sure that that matches up with the shipping label like just being extra 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 careful <clears throat> when it comes to shipping right another thing that it taught me was um, excuse me y'all another thing that it taught me was that i need to come up with um customer resolutions 
So something happens like this. What if she wouldn't have gotten her sign on time? She paid her rush fee. You told her you told her that you would have it done in that amount of time. What if something happened to where that sign did not make it to her? What if something slipped up with the post office and even though I bought that overnight shipping label, what if they would have had delays and they couldn't get it to her until the very next day? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> What if something would have happened and I couldn't get it to her until the very next day? I have to now come up with something. I have to now come up with a system or come up with a um, standard of procedures for customer resolutions. If something doesn't go right, if something goes wrong and the customer doesn't get what they were promised, what am I going to do as a business owner to compensate them, to make up for it, to you know, provide excellent customer service to them. This is a, they're realtors, they have closing dates. The dates are specific. They need their things when they need them. <clears throat> Excuse me. They need their things when they need them. So how can I make up for that? You know, how can the company, how can the business make up for any mishaps that could occur, right? So um, thank God that the sign actually made it to her on time. But this has me thinking, it has me preparing, it has me planning <clears throat> for what if, what if things go wrong? What am I going to do? What are we going to do as a company? So I say this to say, if things don't go as planned or things, you know, go crazy and, you know, not as planned with your business and entrepreneurship, it's not the time to be scared. It's not the time to panic. It's not the time to be disappointed, to cry, to have a tantrum. It's the time to pivot and figure out what can I do to prevent this from happening again. That's how you grow. That's how you elevate a business. What can I do so that this doesn't happen again? It's not the time to give up. It's not the time to quit. It's not the time to say this ain't for me. It's not the time for that. It's the time to grow. When things go wrong, it's the time to grow. How can I learn from this? How can this not happen again? What can I do differently to ensure that this does not happen again? Something else could happen again, but what can I do to ensure that this doesn't happen again? I'll handle the other stuff when it comes, right? So I just wanted to share that there is no perfect journey. There is no perfect story. There is no perfect anything in life and especially not in business. So I just came here to encourage y'all to keep going when things go going right, when things go crazy, when things go off track, that's your time to figure out what can I do differently. That's it. That's all I got for you today. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That's how I'm going to keep growing. That's how I'm going to keep expanding. That's how I'm going to keep showing up on your feed. And I'll see y'all next time.